boy Brick Hill. What's up? How you feeling today? I'm feeling good. How you feeling, Miss? I'm feeling great. Tell us about your album coming out, cause you know this thing was beat it up and she bad. It's going down. Your album's called Going Hard. Yeah, yeah, Going Hard May 4th. Album will be out May 4th. Uh, it's a, it's, it's basically the album is pretty much uh, me growing up. You know what I'm saying? Trying to show a different side of me as a, as a, as a, as a young man. Uh, growing up in the urban community, like, I grew up here in Houston. But uh, you know, when you grow up, I feel like your music should grow with you. So basically, this album going hard is basically me showing people who already previously been knowing me or seeing me out in my rap vehicle, selling my CDs, or promoting my music, showing them that I have grown from from being one point to the next point. So right now, I'm going hard. <laughs> That's what's up. Now <clears throat> I read a little bit about you, and it says that you've come from this. Street life, and you've turned your life completely around. Tell us a little bit about that. It wasn't, it, it wasn't really the street life like that. It's just I was in the streets uh, doing whatever I had to do to make money to survive, to live. And uh, I was pretty much just out there. However I could get it, I was going to try to get it just so I could get by. And it, it, it ended up being a situation where I learned a lot about life. And uh, I gained a lot of respect for, for people, my craft, and just just... Life in general just makes you, uh, it, being in the streets humbles you. And uh, and me being a humble person and, and figuring out and seeing what other people go through, I kind of got myself in the, in the position of I wanted to create my own type of surrounding and create my own feel for uh, for life. And I kind of put myself out there to figure it out, to figure out life on my own. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad I did that because at an early age I, I, I've learned a lot and it's, it's been a a magnificent journey. Now you've been quoted saying music is sold off of believability. Do you feel that you put your life in your music? I put my life in my music, and uh, I don't. I don't believe in singing nothing that I that I that I don't feel. Uh, whether I went through it or whether I can go through it, that's kind of my point that I go with with my music. Like a lot of people uh, feel like like I always use as an example like Eminem. I never been through nothing. Eminem been through, but I feel it because he felt it. He felt what he was talking about. So you never think about tying your mama up and putting her in the trunk or, or none of the stuff he talked about. But knowing that he felt what he was saying, it was real. So people, are, like real always recognize real. So when, when you're doing something real, whether you've been through what I've been through or not, you, you're going to feel it. So tell us, what are you going to bring different to this R&B game that other artists are just not doing? Uh, it's a it's a midpoint in this music industry that I feel like ain't filled in. You got young people who you got the young R and B and you got the old R and B. But the, but but people as my age, I'm 24. People in my demographic is we we only hip hop because it's like it's no in between. We can't get no in between no more. And I think uh, the only only person who really came in and filled in that void was Trey Songz. But uh, I'm trying to get in that in between. So I'm not really trying to bring nothing that nobody else can't bring. I'm just trying to do me and do real r and I think it's enough room for a lot of artists out here. And I think right now is the perfect time for new artists to come to the game. So, you know, right now for me, it's just a, it's, it's just an opportunity to go out here and display myself. And, and whatever the people get from it, that's what I brought. Okay, piggybacking on that, define real R&B. Uh, singing what you feel. And it's no, it's no, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing about no know how the music is played or no keys or it's just singing soul just singing in front of soul just singing something that you feel that's that's real r&b just sing something you feel just feel it now who are some of the artists that you looked up to coming up who you felt sung real r&b uh marvin gay is, is my all-time favorite I, I don't i don't go a day without listening to marvin gay literally on my ipod i'm gonna play something from marvin uh r kelly the Osley Brothers, The Temptations, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of artists. It's a lot of artists that, that sing real R&B. So for me, whoever whoever uh, I grew up on that I really gravitated to was some artists that sung real R&B. I mean, you're talking about legends in the game. The Osley Brothers, man, R. Kelly has a ton of albums. What are you plan to leave as far as your mark? You plan to become a legend in this industry? I think that's always the goal. The goal is always to be a legend. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I, I, I shoot for the for the sun <laughs> and I and land amongst the stars. Wherever I land is where I land, but I go, I'm going for it all. 
And wherever I end up is, is a beautiful thing because I could be nowhere. Definitely. So tell us a little bit about growing up in Houston, Texas, because we love artists from Houston. You know, Houston is a real diverse city, and that's what I love about the city. You could, you could be in any type of scene you want to be in. You want to be in a jazz scene, you could be in a jazz scene. You want to be in a hip-hop scene, you could be on a hip-hop scene. If you want to be uh, hang with the people that, that, that's on the arts, RC side, you can hang with that. So for me, it was a real diverse city, and growing up in Houston teaches you a lot about different cultures, and, and it kind of gives you a... A, a leeway of figuring out where you want to be at. 